Halifax, Nova Scotia. Really? Uh, what is Nova Scotia? Yes, the explosion in Halifax. All right, you're at 20,600, and Ed has 10 to Ariel 1,600. Here comes Final Jeopardy. 20th century notables. Back to the And yeah, Ed definitely should be shaking his head. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. That was just a really bad daily double wager. It doesn't matter if you have completely skunked the category so far. With 7,200 and Kelly in the lead with 18,600, you have to go for everything. I mean, and maybe I'll just play around here and see what would happen. Had uh, Ed gone for everything. Or it doesn't matter what Ariel has. She's out of contention. Uh, Ed doubles up 28.8. That's 8,200. And if Kelly gets it wrong, she has 12,400, which, voila, Ed doesn't even need to get Final Jeopardy right to have a shot. But, now he doesn't even have a chance. <sighs> oh well. Uh, Kelly, a lot more impressive than yesterday. She had a weak start yesterday and had a couple favorable categories. I mean, running off nine or ten clues in a row is no small feat, of course, like she did in Double Jeopardy yesterday, but it's a much more consistent, much more competent. Uh, cool that she has two different color eyes, but Alex, has anyone ever said, I prefer being with people who have blue eyes or I prefer being with people who have brown eyes? I've never heard such a thing. Ugh. It's uh, raining finally here in New York after a pretty hot week, <clears throat> and uh, it is a little muggy still, but not 85 or whatever it was on Monday and Tuesday. And uh, I took advantage of that, went for a nice run, did a little workout, which always good to do at a cooler temperature than a hotter temperature. Let's see what I think about today's game. Oh, the opening clue, Pentos and Karth. Uh, I guess the writers are only watching season one, because I think that's the only time those two appear. Actually, Pentos is the only... It's a fun fact. Fun fact. Pentos is the only city or location on the opening map that has only shown up once. It's not worth the engineer's time to make something for something that only show up once, and the reason it's only show up once is because every single opening has to have Winterfell, King's Landing, The Wall, and wherever Daenerys Targaryen is. And in the opening episode, she happened to be in Pentos. Yeah, she hasn't been back, and they haven't had a reason to show it since. So, yeah, fun facts. Every time I say fun fact, I realize it's just something that no one really cares about, but I feel like saying, so, whatever. Uh, Sippy Cup, is that the proper name for it? Yeah, that's what I called it, but I don't know. And does anyone prefer blue solo cups? I prefer drinking with blue solo cups, solo cups that are blue. Not solo cups that are brown, I've never seen one of those. I've only seen red, blue, and yellow, and I guess maybe green. Uh, look at the monitor, or whatever that category was. I wasn't actually looking at the monitor, I was out of the room, but I still got three out of five. And that reminds me of a, a really good uh, alpaca farm quiz where it was imageless. Uh, I'll talk about that more in a second. I forgot what the category was. Oh, that's got to be Gandhi with those glasses. What is the category? Man, this is the most obnoxious Final Jeopardy ever, and I'm going to show the players. I guess you have to be able to see the glasses, that's the key part. But I'm wondering if there was... You know, someone was mouthing something at the camera that was a little unbecoming. Sandals and the bowl were important parts of those effects. We start with you, Ariel Watkins. That's still shaking his head. What did you come up with for your final? You was picked on Osama Bin Laden. I think you're a little early for 2009. But uh, let's see. $1,400 is what it cost you. You're down not bad, guess. Let's go to Ed Brown now. At $10,200. Anything there, Ed? John Wayne Gacy? I can't make up. Gacy. Uh, no, it's going to cost you. 
69.99. You're going to finish in second place because Kelly Bales made this a runaway game for the second day in a row. Did she come up? No, she came up with Ernest Hemingway instead of Mohandas Gandhi. Gandhi. Sandals. The rice bowl. All right. What do you lose? Nothing. We have 20,600 and the two days go to 37,500. Will she have to wager anything tomorrow? The final jeopardy is going to find out. See, the thing is, Kelly wasn't around last week <clears throat> when she was putting all those joke answers. Or maybe she was. Maybe she was the alternate or the carryover contestant. But uh, it'd be a lot more interesting to see her put her own version of whatever joke answer she wanted. Uh, maybe if she wins out this week, Alex Jacob will have something to say about that. Uh, of course, it's all taped. The whole season's taped, so... I guess they would have to been in touch in the meantime. Uh, so that was Moots. Uh, so yeah, someone put together a really good alpaca farm quiz. And it was all basically just images but without images. So typically in a just images quiz, it's only photos or drawings of things. It says, please name this thing. And instead it didn't have the image, but it said, you know, this is the one letter middle name of the person seen here and you figure it's probably going to be Harry S. Truman and stuff like that. Very clever. But uh, I felt that way about a couple of the clues in that category tonight. Uh, I don't think it was until I was 21, 22 that I actually figured out what Escape was about. I just thought it was about drinking pina coladas. Oh, it's about a classified ad. <laughs> Do you even know what a classified ad is? No, didn't think so. Uh, oh yeah, Hunter Gatherer, that was funny. Anyway, wait, why did I say it was a moot point? Yeah, that was dumb. It wasn't a moot point. I could have won that game. Oh well, I'm not going to beat a dead horse. That's it for me. Oh great, BattleBots are back. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for all these ABC game shows. Just thought I have to tell the truth now. Betty White as a panel on, so that's going to be... So I'm not going to have too many more of those with her, sad to say. She's, what, 91, 92 now? She's definitely in her 90s. All right, that's enough out of me. Uh, I'll wrap up the week tomorrow. Friday, right here, on the final wager. No. Uh,